Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft have started rolling out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which I did post on late last week when the update was still in preview, and now it's made it to the stable version, and that's KB5017380, which was made available on the 20th of September, late yesterday in my region. And the update is optional, but if you do decide to install the update, um, the latest build now for um, Windows 10 version 21H2 will be bumped up to OS build 19044.2075, exactly the same build as it was in preview. And it's also available over and above 21H2 for 21H1 and 20H2. Now, um, there are five new features with the update. And two of them, um, I would say the two key highlights for those new features are to do with the news and interest feed, as I did mention last week. Now, up until this stage, the news and interest feed settings were if you right clicked on the taskbar and you went to the context menu, yeah, you had all the different options um, uh, for the news and interest feed to personalize that to your own choice and preference. Now, if we right click on the taskbar and we go to the taskbar settings now, uh, the same settings now have been duplicated uh, in the um, the settings menu, the personalization page, and the taskbar page. So if we head down near to the bottom, you'll see now for news and interests, we have um, an option to toggle it on and off from the settings now. You can change icon and text, icon only. So all those settings now have just been duplicated in the settings menu. Hover to open news and interests and reduce updates to news and interests. So um, not only just available now in the right click menu but also in that um, settings personalized personalization taskbar page now as well and then the other key highlight regarding the news and interests is up until this stage it was only available when the taskbar was at the bottom of the screen now if we head back to those taskbar settings and we um, change the location of the taskbar let's just say to the left for this example, you will see now that it's also available um, in the left orientation and not just at the bottom. And this will apply to having your taskbar at the top of the screen and also to the right. So news and interests now, um, those the it applies to all orientations now of the uh, taskbar, not, not just being at the bottom as it previously was. So let's just pop that back to the bottom and there we go. So I think that's a nice handy new feature regarding news and interests. Now, um, if you'd like to see if you have the update, uh, we just head to the update and security page, Windows update, and um, it's an optional update which will appear in this section. And if you do decide to install it, then obviously you'll have to restart your device and it'll be listed under view update history. Um, and that will be right at the bottom under other updates. And that's um, KB5017380. And I always suggest with the optional bug fix updates that roll out near the end of every month, the C release updates, only install them if you are having any issues with your device or system else. Just leave the updates alone as a lot of the fixes and improvements will be carried over by default into the Patch Tuesday October uh, cumulative update, which will be an automatic compulsory update rolling out on the second Tuesday of next month, October. Now, just to go through some of the... Um, other key highlights quickly regarding the update 5017380 uh, just to mention those other new features uh, um, there is an improvement that turns off the transport layer security TLS 1 and 1.1 by default in Microsoft browsers and applications now um, there's an improvement that introduces web authentication redirection which lets you authenticate in apps and on websites without a password when you use remote desktop and they've also introduced functionality that lets you use Azure Active Directory authentication to sign into Windows using remote desktop. So those, over and above those news and interests um, improvements, those are the other new um, uh, improvements that have rolled out with KB5017380. And then just to mention the highlights, because this is a bug fix update, um, they've addressed an issue that requires you to reinstall an app if you did not get the app from the Microsoft Store. And they've also addressed an issue that was an error that leads to a blue screen when you are using more than one display. So that's a nice improvement. They've addressed an issue that forces the Inter Explore Internet Explorer mode tabs in a session to reload. And there was an issue that affected Internet Explorer mode um, 
after you open a PDF file, that's been addressed. And Microsoft says when you try to open a different page using the same browser window, the page um, would not open in that browser window. So that's been fixed. And um, there was an issue that affected the Microsoft Japanese IME um, when it is active and the IME mode is on. That's been addressed. And also there was an issue that affected the rendering of the search box. So that was the search box um, on the taskbar, as mentioned. Um, and that was, um, it was not rendering properly if you sign in using tablet mode. So if you use tablet mode now, the search box um, is rendering properly um, in tablet mode. And let me just get rid of that quickly. There we go. And the last key highlight regarding the improvements and bug fixes, they've addressed a known issue that affects daylight saving time in Chile, which was an issue um, that was affecting some devices over the last couple of weeks. And actually, that wasn't the last key highlight. There's one more to mention, and they've addressed a known issue that affected XML paper specification XPS viewers. That was also a known issue that's finally been addressed. And um, this might stop you from opening XPS files in some non-English languages. So those are the bug fixes, the key bug fixes that have rolled out in this latest update, KB5017380. And as mentioned, the, um, the, two main the two main improvements, I would say, are that the news and interest feed settings are now also available in the settings menu and you can also use it now in the different taskbar orientations. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.